started this four years ago. I'm saying when we started this, the, uh, the, the word was that there was zero chance that we could win, and we literally had probably four volunteers at that point. And what we did was, uh, it's six, right? The, what we did was, uh, um, it was literally the first time in 20 years that somebody beat an incumbent against the, uh, with the entire backing of the Hudson County organization. And uh, it was really a, a monumental achievement based on the volunteers that we had, and we were outmanned and we had less resources. And it was really work ethic and time that we put in, and just a belief that the city could be better. And over the last four years, what we've done is we've made some improvements. We've renovated more parks down here than anywhere else in the city. We've paved more roads. We've put in place the strictest pay-to-play laws in the state. We've instituted the first leg testing program for children in daycare centers here that will save lives. We have the first high-rise fire in the state. That's all driven out of the people in this office who actually put the hours in here. And it's a testament to what we've done that we have a crowd here like that tonight. And uh, it, it speaks to the fact that people are willing to get involved and move the city forward. I will tell you that what's different tonight versus any of the other political events in the uh, in the city as far as kickoffs been, and I've been to most of them so far, if you looked at the mayor's, which was not long ago, maybe three weeks, you would see that it was a filled room and the majority of people were people who were involved in the city. They have city contracts, they work for the city. If you look at the other people who are running for mayor, they, they didn't have a kickoff, they didn't have any sort of event like this. What they did was they went to the Jersey Journal and they sat down with, a, with the editorial board and they said, I'm running. And the reason is because they couldn't pe put people in a room like this. And the reality is that today, there's nothing personally that I could offer anybody in this room other than trying to do the best we can to make the city better. And the beautiful thing about it is that the people in this room don't want anything from me or our team other than to do that and make the city better. So the reality is that I recognize that this, although we have a great turnout tonight, that this really, this campaign is not about me at all. It really is about the people in the ward and recognizing that the city can be a better place when people get involved and try and make a difference. So what I'm asking is that you guys come out before for different events that we've needed you for, you've contributed your time, and I'm thankful for it, but now it's really more important than ever because this campaign is going to be about whether we're moving forward or we're going to move backwards to what it was before. They are going to have more resources again, they're going to have more volunteers still, and the opportunity is literally when we win in March, in May, and, and we move forward, it is going to grow very, very fast to the rest of the city. This I can promise you, but it really is a test to what this is about come this May. So what we need is for you all to get involved and stay involved, and this is the first step. So um, I don't want to take any more time. Thank you for coming out tonight. It really means a lot to me. It means a lot to the team, and most importantly, means a lot to the city. So thank